Hi and welcome to Ivy English. I'm Angela, and I'm Wesley. Today is November fourth. We're on page sixteen of the magazine, and today we're getting to the bottom of train tracks.、Mm. What does that mean to get to the bottom of? Usually, getting to the bottom of something means you sort of get to the underlying reasons why you sort of get to understand something.、Um, but you know, train tracks. <laughs> Is there a bottom to understand? Aren't train tracks straight up on the ground? It turns out that train tracks need a foundation, and that's a very interesting story. Hmm. 好，首先我们的中文标题，这篇文章中文标题是《火车铁轨大揭秘》。那这个英文标题很有趣哈，因为 get to the bottom of something 通常的表示你要了解它藏在底下的那个原因啊。那但在这里呢，其实两个意思感觉都有，因为事实上它也只是在谈。看，等一下看我们的文章，它也是在谈这个铁轨。底下是什么东西啊？那同时，它也可以表示说，我们就多了解一下这个铁轨到底是怎么回事啊？那 train tracks 就是火车的铁轨 ，train 是火车 ，tracks 就是那个火车的铁轨。So, um, I love trains. I need to confess this in advance. I love everything about trains.、Ooh. I think that trains are far better for the planet than highways. Mm-hmm. Because trains and highways, trains take up much less area of the ground,、mm-hmm. and they transport far more for the area of like of space they take up,、mm-hmm. and they're just more efficient overall. It's the efficiency of scale. Yeah. 那这一点我们等下文章也有提到哈。Angela 老师讲说他很喜欢火车。那有一个很重要原因是因为火车其实是比较环保的啊，因为它所占的空间比较小啊，跟那个公路比起来啊，而且呢。火车在在运送货物方面，它也是呃比较有效率。好，那我我也蛮喜欢火车的哈 ，but mostly because of I, because I think it they, the trains are romantic. They're romantic and they're cool. Yeah. <laughs> Why do we all think of trains as romantic and cool though? It's got to be movies. Yeah. yeah I think you're right. <laughs> but you know what?、Mm-hmm. I I I know a lot of six year olds these days,、mm-hmm. and they're they're six year olds seem to be uniformly obsessed with trains. I think that's true. Yeah, like they're like into subways. They're into train. Actually, even fourteen-year-olds I know are deeply into trains. I don't know. Trains are something that seem cool to everybody. I think because of how big and powerful they are. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So, 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 对火车非常着迷啊，有的十几岁的青少年也对火车非常着迷，所以可能不见得是受媒体影响，可能是我们的本性里面有些东西，人性看到火车这个东西，可能觉得啊，它可能很 powerful 啊，然后这个还会跑，还会叫，还有声音，蛮好玩的。It's the same kind of appeal as airplanes. They're、mm-hmm. also massive machines that you can go in,、mm-hmm. but airplanes are like more. Distant from us because they fly up into the sky, but trains are always on the ground. And watching a train go by is like an experience of like a god going by. Honestly, it's like、yeah. just like whoosh, you、and、know. Also, I, I like the sound that a train、yeah. makes when it travels. Dong 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 dong. It's very <laughs> yeah. You know, it's, it's a rhythm. It's like you're in a cradle. Yeah, actually, yeah. human beings love repetitive sounds and repetitive motions. So, yeah, yeah there is a lot to that. Yeah, so I just talked about. I just thought of one. I really like the train because when I drive the train, the train when it moves, the sound is very regular. The train is very regular. 的感，然后叫火车那个很很尖头的那个摇摆啊，会让你觉得说啊，好像在摇篮里面。好，那 Angel 老师，哎，对哈，啊，人好像通常也是蛮喜欢这种规律的声音。Yeah. Hmm. But also, I'm thinking about when you stand on the high-speed rail platform. Mm-hmm. And a train that's not yours goes by、mm-hmm. in the middle tracks, you know, and、yeah. it's just like you can feel the air parting、oh, in、yeah. front of it. It's、yeah. like wow. Yeah, 那好像在站在月台上等火车的时候啊，火车如果没有要停过去的话，咻，这样过去，你感觉到那个整个气压的改变，这都感觉很棒。Yeah. So let's get to the bottom of train tracks. What、mm-hmm. do trains actually have to go on? Like, what's the tracks supported by? It has been nearly 200 years since the world's first public steam-powered train was built in England. Today, trains are, of course, much superior to that initial simple but efficient means of transportation. However, one thing that has not changed in all that time is the design of the rail tracks beneath the trains. The concept behind the base track of most railways has remained surprisingly the same for over two centuries. The idea was, and still is, 
to build up a foundation above the surrounding land that is high enough to avoid flooding. Crushed stone, called ballast, is then laid over the bare, raised earth. Laid on top of this stone and perpendicular to the direction of the track are wooden beams called ties. These ties are made of hardwood and treated with creosote, a kind of wood preservative. This helps weatherproof the ties. Some 93% of ties in the United States today are made of wood. Finally, beams of steel, often more than 10 meters long, are laid across the ties to form the railroad. These beams are welded together at the ends, securing the ties and serving as the base for the wheels of a train. As wood and ballast are the main components of a railroad track, the design is actually rather eco friendly. A single 100 car freight train can carry the same amount of goods as 350 full size trucks. An economy of scale results. Reducing the shipping costs and the need for workers to transport the goods. This makes trains safer and more efficient than large highway trucks. So, the next time you're at a train station or cross railroad tracks, take a moment to admire their design. So, it's interesting. I've noticed the evolution of the train system in Taiwan. Most of the tracks now are held by、um, concrete ties.、Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or they've just simply elevated the trains, and we're just on. <laughs> I guess they're still on concrete ties on the bridges that the,、mm -hmm. all the trains are elevated on. But、mm -hmm. I think it's interesting. The United States is pretty far behind in terms of railroad technology, actually.、Mm. They really are. Like, there used to be a very good network of railway systems,、mm -hmm. a very good network.、Mm -hmm. And in the last 40 years, they've just let that deteriorate to, to heck. Hmm. And,、um, like, one of the things that have been discussed recently in U.S. politics, I mean, Hillary Clinton was actually going to redo the train system、mm -hmm. if she had been elected. And instead, we got Trump, who just decided to break everything. Imagine where the U.S. would have been if Hillary had been elected. We would have a <laughs> functional train system now, for one thing.、Hmm. Anyways, they keep talking about the functional train system, but no one's doing it yet. Hmm. So, you know, Angela is saying, 美国的铁路其实呃不是很发达，也不是很现代化。它曾经是很发达的哈，但是这个后来大家因为大家都比较喜欢开车啊，坐飞机啊。This was not be Zhao Xihuan. This is because of various policies where they、um, pushed forward the freeway network and they against trains because、okay. um, oil, basically the big oil interests were interested in creating networks of individual cars,、mm -hmm. and、oh. trains don't use oil. Yeah, that's true. That's basically what it comes down to. That、嗯、除了比较喜欢之外，最重要的还是政策问题啊。因为如果说鼓励大家开车的话，石油的消耗就会比较大，那石油公司就可以赚钱，政府也可以收税等等的。所以背后还其实还是政策的问题。所以美国的政策感觉起来，最近几十年来好像比较不重视火车的这个铁轨的发展啊。所以这一方面是比较落后的。嗯、mm. ，Okay, so let's get to the article. The first paragraph says. It has been nearly 200 years since the world's first public steam-powered train was built in England. Gosh,、uh, mm -hmm. you know, if you have access to YouTube, there is a really good set of videos that explain the sort of history of the train in England. And they go and they find all these historical trains and ride on them and show you like all. There's historical trains from 200 years ago that are still running in England. Wow, they're cool as heck. Yeah, so England, actually, now there are many old trains in England that still run. So, actually, you can go and look at them. So, this paragraph says, "It has been nearly 200 years since the world's first public steam-powered train was built in England." So, actually, you can go and look at them. So, this paragraph says, "It has been nearly 200 years since the world's first public steam-powered train was built in England." So, actually, you can go and look at them. So, this paragraph says, "It has been nearly 200 years since the world's first public steam-powered train was built in England." So, actually, you can go and look at them. So, this paragraph says, "It has been nearly 200 years since the world's first public steam-powered train was built in England." So, actually, you can go and look at them. So, this paragraph says, "It has been nearly 200 years since the world's first public steam-powered train was built in England." So, actually, you can go and look at them. So, this paragraph says, "It has been nearly 200 years since the world's first public steam-powered train was built in England." So, actually, you can go and look at them. So, this paragraph says, 蒸汽火车 was built 被建造出来，在英国建造出来，到现在已经将近两百年了。Actually, all you have to do is just Google <laughs> historical trains England, and there is a whole bunch of information on these trains. Oh, so you just Google historical trains、uh, in England, yeah, you will find many, many related information. Hmm. So today, trains are of course much superior. They're much better than that initial simple but efficient means of transportation. 
the it's the initial means first, simple means simple,、mm-hmm. and efficient means that it carried a lot of goods at once.、Mm-hmm. I mean, trains revolutionized England. It changed、um, eating patterns. It changed、um, consumption patterns. It arguably is what made England become an industrial power to begin with. 的确啊，我们先看这个句子。他说：“今天火车 are of course， 当然是 much superior to， 就是 be better than 的意思啊。To be superior to 就是 be better than 或者 be greater in quality。那比什么比起来更好呢 ？Be that 那一个 initial 就是最初的、刚开始的 first 啊，刚开始的那一辆 simple 很简单，但是非常 efficient 啊。Efficient 就是有效率的 means of transportation 就是交通工具。”那当然，我们其实了解到，这个火车真的，它是在运送货物、人员之这个上面呢，它其实真的是 simple， 而且非常 efficient。那刚刚 Angel 老师也提到，这个英国火车对英国的改变其实贡献非常的大哈，因为有火车，所以英国人改变了他们的饮食习惯，改变了他们的消费习惯，然后呢，使得他们的工业革命呃，那更加的蓬勃发展。所以，火车在英国的历史上是非常重要的。嗯。However, one thing that has not changed in all that time, so from 200 years until now, one thing that hasn't changed is the design of the rail tracks beneath the trains. So even though trains are very different than they used to be, the rails have not changed much at all. Hmm. But one thing that has not changed in all that time, ah, this you can put it all together. Is in all that time, so long, so long, so long, so long, so long, so long, so long. 有一件事情没有改变的，啊，是什么呢？那英文这句话就是 "One thing that has not changed in all that time is 是什么呢？是 the design of 是什么的设计？是 the rail tracks 这个铁轨的设计。那 beneath the trains 就是火车下方 ，beneath 就是在什么下方？火车下方那个铁轨的设计其实没有什么改变。那 rail 其实就是铁轨。那 tracks 就是两根铁轨铺成的那个所谓的轨道啊，所以 the rail tracks 就是。So the concept behind the base track of most railways has remained surprisingly the same for over two centuries. So the way the concept, the idea of how you have to support a railway, how you have to support all of the weight of this of these massive machines, this concept has remained surprisingly the same for two hundred years.、Um, It's not that surprising if you're an architect, though, because if you look at the technology of foundations for buildings,、mm-hmm. that also hasn't changed much in thousands of years.、Ooh. Because basically, the problem is the same. The problem is you have a massive weight、mm-hmm. pushing down onto the ground. The ground may or may not be able to support that weight.、Mm-hmm. For example, if you look at the island of Manhattan、mm-hmm. in、uh, New York City.、Mm-hmm. Where the buildings are tall and where the buildings are short is、mm-hmm. an exact mirror of the granite bedrock beneath the city. Oh, so、mm-hmm. where there's bedrock that's close enough to build on, then the buildings are tall.、Mm-hmm. In between the areas of bedrock, the soil is very sandy,、mm-hmm. and you actually have to build the buildings like little boats,、mm-hmm. so that they will float on the surface of the of the earth. And it's it's counterintuitive. You think of the earth as solid, but in fact. If something is heavier, if you've ever walked on the beach, you know、mm-hmm. this principle. If you stand on the beach and the sand is wet, you sink into it.、Mm. So you need something wider and flatter to keep you above the surface of the sand, because your your foot does not have enough surface area to keep you from punching through.、Mm-hmm. So basically, foundations are always an issue of the weight versus how much surface area you have to resist it. And train tracks are the same issue, basically.、Mm-hmm. 好，所以这个地方刚刚 Angel 老师他讲到说，其实这个铁轨啊，因为火车的那个基底，它的它的功能跟那个房子的地基是一样的啊。那这些不管是地基还是铁轨，碰到的问题都一样，就是怎么样让地面能够承受上面的火车或者是房屋的重量。好，所以他们大概方法就是那几个，所以基本上都没有变化。那刚刚 Angel 老师提到一个很有趣的，就是其实你去。你如果到曼哈顿，纽约的曼哈顿去看，他的房子那个建筑有的很高哈、啊，有的不怎么高，有的可能甚至可能扁扁平平的。那基本上你你可以从这个地方看出来，那个建筑物所在底下那个地值是怎样。如果说你看到这个摩天大厦的话，那你就表示这个摩天大厦所在的地方底下的那个地
值是非常稳固的。那如果你看到的房子不是那么大哈，甚至于可能有盖得像船一样啊，这个那样子的话，你就知道它底下的那个地值可能就不是非常坚定啊，坚固。好，所以火车也是一样。所以这个句子它讲到说 ，the concept behind something 就什么东西背后的那个理念、那个概念。那这里讲什么东西背后的理念呢？是呢 ，the base track。那 base 在这也是形容词，表示作为基底的啊，因为铁轨感觉起来就是一个基础，一个基底啊，所以他这也说，作为基底的这种大多数的铁轨，它背后的那个概念呢 ，has remained the same 啊，它保持不变。那这样的一件事情让人蛮意外的，所以他加了一个 surprisingly 啊，在这个 the same 的前面，所以 has remained surprisingly the same， 就是出人意料地保持不变。然后呢？ For over two centuries, 已经超过两个世纪，一直保持不变。So the idea was originally and still is now to build up a foundation above the surrounding land that is high enough to avoid flooding. The other thing, though, is to make sure that the train track is as level as possible. Mm-hmm. Because a train doesn't do well. Trains don't do well with slopes. So you try、mm-hmm. to make it as flat as possible, so the train is not going up and down too much. Yeah, but also you need to be above the flood level of the pl- of the land you're building on. 嗯，好，所以 the concept behind， 所以背后的那 concept 那个 idea 是什么呢？他这里告诉你 ，the idea the idea was to do something， 就是背后的那个想法是要。那 and still is 插入表示不只是 was， 不只是当年是这样，现在还是一样。想法是要 build up 啊，要建造一个 a foundation， 一个基础，一个地基，要 above the surrounding land。在周围的土地上面啊，就是要高于这 above， 你可以说是高于或者在什么在在什么的上方，它要有一个地基要高于它周围的土地。那 that is， 那你这个 foundation 要怎么样 ？Is high enough？ 它的高度要够高，能够 avoid flooding， 能够避免淹水。And then there's crushed stone. You've seen it. They're like fist-sized pieces of granite, and they're called ballast. This is laid over the bare, raised earth. So the original Foundation is just earth, and then you put this crushed stone on top of it because it's easier to level it and make it secure. But also, the stone interlocks with itself and becomes a very sort of solid foundation, even though it's not glued together. They sort of stick together because of their edges. And also, the benefit of that is that it lets water through, so it won't wash away the stone underneath the tracks. Hmm. 好，所以上一句其实也有，呃 ，Angel 老师也有讲到，就是其实要避免淹水之外，另外一个很重要的功能，铁轨的功能就是尽量要保持水平啊，避免火车爬坡。好，那所以这个地方这这一句接下来讲的这个 crushed stone 就是压碎的石头，也有类似的功能啊，因为它石头它可以自己啊形成一个很紧密的结构啊，同时呢又中间有缝隙，还可以排水。好，所以这个句子他讲到说 crushed stone 啊，那 called 逗点，它也它被称为是。道闸哈，这个 ballast 中文叫道闸，道路的道，那个闸是一个十字旁哈，在一个昨天的昨的右边啊，就是那个闸啊，所以中文是念闸，道闸啊，所以道闸就是这个 crushed stone 哈。那 is then 接下来 laid 在这里是 l a y 的过去分词啊，所以被铺在 over 铺一层，铺在哪里呢？这个 bare 就是裸露的啊，没有东西覆盖的啊，裸露的。这个 raised 一被你升起来，被你垫高的这个土上面 ，earth 就土或者地面，所以本来那个土或地面上面是没有东西的，那现在呢，我们就把道闸把它铺在上面。Now laid on top of this stone and perpendicular to the direction of the track are wooden beams called ties. They're called ties because they tie the two rails of the track together. Perpendicular is a great word to know. It means ninety degrees to the direction, so it's like a cross. It's crosswise. It's not parallel to. It's crosswise. It's perpendicular. Hmm. 好，所以 laid on top of the stone 就是覆盖在这个呃道闸上面的啊，这是个分词构句。同时呢，是 perpendicular 就是九十度啊，乘九十度啊，跟这个 direction of the track 跟铁轨的方向乘九十度的是什么呢？是 wooden， 是木头的啊。那我们刚刚提到，现在也有水泥做的哈。这个 beams 就是在这里这一一个长条东西，那在这里就指木条哈。那个一根根的木条被称为 ties， 被称为枕木，这就是我们讲的枕木啊。那为用 ties， 因为它真的就它就把这些东西把这个把铁轨啊跟这个呃地面呢感觉像它绑起来那种感觉。
These ties are made of hard wood. It's not soft wood. It has to be very durable wood, and they're treated with creosote, or it's also known as tar, and it's a kind of wood preservative. What it does is it keeps the wood. It prevents insects from eating it. And it prevents mold from rotting it.、Um, and it used to be used very commonly on roofs as well, but it's flammable, so it's not a good idea for roofs. Uh、mm-hmm. huh. 那这些枕木呢，是由 hardwood， 就是这个硬木、硬木材啊，做成的。And treated with， 就是经过什么的处理呢？经过这个啊 ，creosote， 就是。中文叫做杂分油，哈，就是木焦油了，哈。就刚刚那个 Angel 讲，它其实是另外一个说法，就是 tar 啊 ，T A R。那这什么东西呢？同格同位格告诉你，它是一种它是一种 wood preservative 啊 ，preservative 就是防腐剂，它是一种木头的防腐剂。This preservative helps weatherproof the ties. If you weatherproof something, you make it safe from the weather. It means it won't rot from being rained on. 嗯哼，那 weatherproof 这里是及物动词，就是。使某样东西能够防风雨，哈，能够抗气候的侵蚀，所以它可以让这个枕木可以抗气候的侵蚀。It's amazing though how long railroad ties last. Like really, sometimes like fifty years. Yeah, 哦，他们这个呃，铁路的枕木有时候它可以这个耐用五十年，哈，不容易。So some ninety-three percent of ties in the United States today are made of wood. 所以呢 ，some 是大约，好，所以美国现在大约有百分之九十三的。这个铁路的枕木是木头的。Finally, we get the beams of steel, which is the tracks, the rails, and they are often more than ten meters long. Um, so it's transporting those dudes is a lot, but they're laid across the ties to form the railroad. So the actual tracks are these beams of steel. Beam 在这里就是指长条哈，所以长长的长条形的这个钢啊 ，steel， 通常呢。More than ten meters long, 通常会超过十公尺啊，长非常的长，那就被 laid 也是一样被铺下来 across the ties， 就是这个跟这个枕木呢是它是横跨这个枕木被铺下来啊，这样就可以形成 the railroad. So these beams are welded together at the ends, and this secures the ties. This keeps the ties together. And also is the the base for the wheels of the train. The whole point of the ties is to support the rails. Like the rails are the whole road. <laughs> That's the railroad. Yeah, the weld 就是焊接哈，所以这些长的这个钢呢被焊接 together at the ends， 在两端被焊接起来哈。那当然，铁轨固定不只是靠这个了，它还要靠什么螺丝啊，还要靠什么鱼尾板等等的哈。那接下来他说 ，securing the ties， 你焊接之后就可以把这个，呃，把它铁轨跟枕木呢，呃，你能够固定这个枕木了，好，然后呢 ，serving as the base， 就作为一个基底 ，for the wheels of a train， 就可以让火车的轮子压过去。So as wood and ballast are the main components of a railroad track, so the wooden ties and the crushed stone are basically what make up the track. The design is rather eco-friendly. 好，所以呢。这个 as 就是因为啊，那 wood 是木头哈，还有这个道闸是主要的组成元件，是铁路的铁轨主主要的组成元件啊，所以呢，这个设计事实上是相当的环保的 ，eco friendly. And why? It's because a single 100 car freight train can carry the same amount of goods as 350 full size trucks. If you think about the amount of energy consumed for the one train versus the 350 trucks, you can also see that there's a massive energy savings as well. Yeah, 那单单一列一百节车厢的这个货运火车啊 ，freight train， 可以携带同样数量的货物啊，跟什么一样呢？跟三百五十辆 full size 的，就是大的啊，大型的，可能是最大型的这种火这个卡车 trucks。So an economy of scale results, reducing the shipping costs and the need for workers to transport the goods. You just need one train driver and not 350 truck drivers. 好 ，economy of scale 就是规模经济哈，就是指当货物的货物的这个量增加的时候呢，单位重量的运输成本会比较降低哈，这是一种特性。好，所以这样的一种现象呢 ，results 就是会形成啊，那 reducing 它会减低。The shipping costs, ah,、uh, costs, 就是运输成本，减低运输成本，还减低 the need for workers to transport the goods， 还减低你所需要啊，你需要这个的工人来运送这些的这个呃货物，你也
减低了需要工人运送货物的这个需求。And this makes trains safer and more efficient than large highway trucks. 那这个就使得火车比起那种公路卡车是更安全，也更有经济效益。So the next time you're at a train station or cross railroad tracks, take a moment to admire their design. 所以下一次你在火车站，或者是你要越过火车铁轨的时候呢，好花一点时间 ，take a moment 来 admire 欣赏一下他们的 design， 他们的设计。Now we have some questions here for you. Number one is. According to the passage, which of the following is true about trains? 根据本文关于火车下列何者正确 ？The answer is D. Today's trains are more sophisticated than old ones. 答案是 D. 如今的火车比旧型的火车更精细。And number two, according to the passage, which is the correct order in the building of a railroad track? 根据本文下列何者是建造火车铁轨的正确顺序 ？The answer is C. We have four raising the earth to form a foundation for the track, two spreading ballast over the bare foundation, one laying wooden ties over the track, and three welding the ends of long steel beams together. 好，所以这一题的选项正确选项是 C， 它的顺序是四二一三。好，你要堆高土地来建造铁轨的地基，然后呢，再把道闸铺在空无一物的地基上面。然后呢，在铁轨上放置木质的枕木啊，最后一步是将长钢条的尾端焊在一起。And number three, which of the following advantages of freight train traffic is not mentioned in the passage? 本文没有提到哪一项下面讲的关于货运列车交通的优点呢 ？The answer is B. Freight trains cost less to manufacture than highway trucks. 答案是 B 哈，建造货运列车的成本比建造公路卡车更低啊，这点文章没有提到。Well, that's all we have for you on trains today, but please join us again the next time for more Ivy English. Until then, bye bye. bye.